the nth term of a geometric sequence has the form a n, the general term is equal to a1, the first term, times r to the n minus 1. Well, what is r? r is the common ratio of consecutive terms in the sequence. Where did this general term for an explicit formula come from? Well, if a1 is equal to a1, how do we get to a2? We multiply by the common ratio. Now we have a2. How do we get to a3? We multiply by the common ratio. Now we have a3. How do we get to a4? We multiply by the common ratio. To get to a5, we multiply again by the common ratio. To get to a6, we multiply again by the common ratio. So if you can follow me to there, look, A2 has one R, A3 has two R's, A4 has three R's, A5 has four R's, A6 has five R's, AN is going to have one less number of R's. So that's how we came up with this formula, AN equals A1 times R to the N minus one. AN equals A1 times R to the N minus one. This is an explicit formula. If we wanted to talk about a recursive formula, we could say a n is equal to a n minus one. So any term is equal to the term before it times the common ratio r provided a one is equal to some number given. Another way to look at this same idea is we could say the next term a n plus one, so the next term is equal to the current term, a n, times the common ratio r, provided a one is given as some number, which I'm representing as a box there. Either way are good descriptions of a recursive formula.